To me now, it's more than just the photos of dogs. It's like the effect that these images are having on people and the reception is, is just wildly positive. So a couple days ago on Instagram, I posted a story asking you guys to ask me a bunch of questions, any question, ask me anything type deal. In this video, I'm uh, gonna answer them for you. Okay, which lens do you prefer most while shooting dogs? I kind of like jump between two lenses. The most I use is this 50 millimeter. So this is the Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. Look how small it is. It doesn't add much weight at all. It's super easy to carry around. Uh, the second lens that I use, which is currently on this camera right now, is a 35 millimeter f 1.8 that is like the second most used lens that i i have i usually only take one lens out with me and it really depends on my mood what made you want to do dog photography honestly like i never really expected that i would go like full on into like the dog photography world until i noticed how much everyone else appreciated the photos to me now it's more than just the photos of dogs it's like the effect that these images are having on people when someone says like this video made my day which like i get this comment all the time it honestly makes my day to hear that like my art is affecting other people in this way so do you use any specific presets for editing photos yes most of the time i use my own presets that i've made myself specifically there's one that i use on pretty much every photo these days it's called what did i call it uh golden hour power <laughs> i think i'll come up with a new name for it when i release it to you guys but i like doing that because that's sort of how you get a consistent look across all of your your uh, photos it's sort of like a style what is the best pick you have ever taken Honestly, I don't know if there's like a best one, but one of my favorites I've taken, actually I'll put right here. It's, uh, it's a bridge in Montreal called Jacques Cartier Bridge. I knew I wanted to bring my camera, my tripod, and do like a long exposure with the fireworks. And I was super late, as always, I'm late for everything. So I had like five minutes to shoot this photo before the fireworks were done. I just barely made it. It's definitely one of my favorite photos that I've ever taken. Uh, yeah. So, okay, on a scale from one to 1,000, how much joy does taking pics from doggos, of doggos, bring you? <laughs> a lot of joy, to be honest. Like, first of all, I love one wheeling, so I'm like, I'm on my one wheel and I like ride around. Like, I used to ride around my one wheel without bringing cameras or nothing. I just ride, ride around because it's so fun. Now I get to ride around and I get to meet like amazing dogs, I get to meet people, I get to say hi, I get to pet them, I get to like, you know, it's, it's just like, it's a lot of joy. It really is just a ton of joy. Next question, next question. If you were a dog, <laughs> what type of dog would you be? <laughs> it's a great question. I don't know what breeds are like, sort of like introverted breeds, because I'm like a pretty introverted person. If there's a dog breed that's like, you know, likes to keep to themselves, but also somewhat enjoys socializing, that would be me. I don't know what dogs those are. Like, I wouldn't be a golden retriever because they love like literally everybody. <laughs> if you think of a dog that like fits that bill, write down in the comments. I know it's not photography related, but I am just really curious. What are your thoughts on the one wheel? <laughs> okay, I just talked about the one wheel, um, but like, it's like my favorite ever purchase that I've made, ever, period. Like, I love it more than the camera I bought. I love it more than any lens I've ever bought. Like, was very expensive, I'm gonna say. But honestly, like, I do not regret a single penny spent on that thing. It feels a lot like snowboarding or surfing, so it's just like you're able to get that feeling of snowboarding and surfing all the time, really. Okay, all right, so next question, let's keep moving on. This is taking longer than I thought, wow. Do you edit first or just show people the raw pics? So talented, what a gift. <laughs> Thank you so much, I appreciate that. If I'm showing the strangers the picture like from the camera, of course it's gonna be unedited. And then when I send them the pictures, of course I edit them first. What is a dog's best angle? <laughs> I guess it depends on the dog, but I mean, I really like to see a dog's eyes. How to start a dog photo biz and tips for beginners. Okay, great, that's a big question. Best way to start a dog photo biz is the way I did it. Go up to strangers, ask them to take photos of their dogs. That's how you're gonna like get out to as many like dogs as you can. Like there's really no other way in my mind to like 
to, to find this many dogs to practice on. Like, you kind of have to go up to strangers. Unless like you go to a shelter or something and you want to try with those dogs. But I think going up to strangers is the best way to do it, really. And then you post everything you take on Instagram and then you have a portfolio. And it's sort of what's been happening to me. And people have actually been hiring me to shoot photos for their dog. And so yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, so not really a question, but you inspired me to go after my passion of dog photography. <laughs> that's amazing to hear. And these are exactly why I keep doing it because I get these types of comments. So keep it up, I love it. Um, oh, part two of this person's question. How long did it take you to figure out how to take the best photos and start a photography career? It really did take years. Like it sucks to, to hear, but like it took years for me to really be happy with my photography. Of course, like here and there, there's always some great pictures, but I've never been fully satisfied. Um, I think that's kind of the way you should be though. Like once you're 100% fully satisfied with your photography that's the point where you stop learning hey just want to say your pics are amazing thank you so much <laughs> what camera do you use i use an eos r canon how long does it take you to finish shooting a dog usually since some dogs are so playful <laughs> so that's a good question so like if it's a stranger usually like five minutes i don't want to take too much of their time usually within the five minutes i get one or two really good shots um, I do take like a crap load of photos like I take like maybe 50 or more shots just because of the fact that dogs move around so much but when it's like a client usually what I do is I take 30 minutes like I book a client for 30 minutes and I can guarantee like 10 to 20 good photos um, and within like the 20 to 30 minutes that I shoot I generally get all the photos I need, uh, plus some, you know, just in case. Last question, what made you interested in taking pictures? Oh, it's the same question as before. <laughs> That's okay. That's it. It's just the amazing comments. But I will say that I'm really enjoying myself um, taking photos of dogs. Like, I've never really considered myself a specific niche photographer. Like, I've, I've done, like, real estate. I've done travel. I've done... Uh, portraits, I've done like street photography, but I've never really like really focused in on one genre of photography until now. As much as like I don't want to specialize in one specific niche of photography, it is a way to grow as a photographer in your career as a photographer. Like a wedding photographer, for example, mostly books only weddings and might do like portraits here and there and stuff like that. But like a wedding photographer is known for wedding photography and they're gonna be hired because of their past in wedding photography. If you specialize in something, it is a great way to grow as like a photographer um, in the long run. I think that's it, that's all the questions. Thank you so much for asking them. Uh, if you have more questions, leave them below in the comments. I will uh, try to answer them all. And um, like this video, subscribe if you really enjoyed it um, because I would like to make a bunch of dog photography tutorials and videos and like behind the scenes of dog photography sessions. I will put them all right here on this YouTube channel. So uh, I'm really stoked and looking forward to, to doing that. That's all, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Peace.